okay all right now i will show you the second one which is the reverse drawing just now the first video i show you is actually the uh, basic combinations okay so just now i'll show you this one so this one as i mentioned you need to produce one page by combining uh, the cubicle the cubes uh, you need to combine the triangle or pyramid and you need to combine the cylinder and further you can add uh, one of the uh, cone okay so this is the first one and then the second one is actually what we call as a reverse drawing okay reverse drawing okay this reverse drawing is actually not much different from the basic combination that you did okay so i will give you these two okay basically you can check these two product which is the dslr camera all right so you can choose either on the right side or you can choose on the left side okay it's up to you as long you choose one of these okay all right so what you need to do you need to choose again the perspective drawing on how to construct this drawing from the beginning now you can see from here the drawing is already like done okay all right but how to draw this product basically is actually back back into the combinations of the shape so you can see this product is a huge kind of rectangular shape it combined with the cylinder and then it combines some sort of the triangle okay there's a some cylinder here okay so that's how it makes the product actually uh, came from those basic form okay so now in this case you need to you will have these two you choose either you want to draw this one or you want to draw this one and then again only two point perspective or three point perspective okay so meaning that here you choose only one okay only one okay either you want to choose this camera or you want to choose this camera okay like now i'm having these two pieces after i print out then i have those these two sample if you don't want to print out then you can refer into your device while you start drawing okay so here you choose only one and then you need to pick either two point okay two point or three point okay all right then i am emphasize on of course okay freehand okay or you can might use your ruler okay and then the the medium of course using your ball pen okay of course you need to have 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 or 1.0 okay so you need to choose just only one to produce the drawing okay now i will show you i will demo you on how to do this uh sketching okay all right basically it's the same okay what you did what i show you just now into this one is the same just only this item this object will be unidentified object okay unidentified we don't know what it's all about but yet it still have the correct way on understanding of perspective drawing doesn't matter how it look but the construction came from the perspective but this one is different this one to become identify object which is the slr camera but we need to reverse back into the how to draw this drawing okay basically right basically you need to have uh, your piece of paper okay as usual no different your a3 paper and then you look into this item you look into this okay 
I'm not going to draw exactly into this product or this product. I just only give you example on how to construct from the scratch. Okay, regarding on SLR camera. So for your part, you need to follow exactly how it look like. But I'm very concerned on certain certain details. Okay, certain certain details like you know, uh, like the groove here the groove into particular detail even the digits and number here okay no need to follow exactly okay it it it, it depends on you if you like you enjoy to make it more realistic more enjoy doing on the detailing then you can add the detailing like put canon t50 and then you want to add some of the words here it's up to you but for me enough just only basic combination on how you construct from the scratch Okay, so the detailing, it depends on individual if you want to. Okay, back into this one, as I said, you need to choose either two point or you need to choose three point perspective. Okay, here, I would like to start again, I choose my 0 0.5 pen. Okay, then I'm going to construct by using two point perspective. Then, of course, in order to get this, uh, I'm not going to draw like this big. Probably I like I need I want to draw much slightly bigger. So meaning, when you want to draw something is bigger, of course the vanishing point is supposed to be outside of your paper. So that is a very norm and very standard operation. Okay, you put the vanishing point inside the paper, your product getting smaller and narrow. But if you put somewhere outside, your product become wider, and then it becomes slightly bigger. Alright. So now again, like, like what I did before, I need to construct the body first. So the body is rectangular. So I'm going to choose two point perspective. Probably is one is here, came from here. And then one more is from here. Here. Okay, and then I try to close this part. Okay. And try to get the roof first. Okay, then straight line go down. And then from here, one more. Then I close this one. First point vanishing, first vanishing point on my left. And then I close here, parallel line. Okay, so now I when uh, roughly I will get the rectangular shapes of this camera so that is very basic I'm using 0 0.5 so then uh, in order to make this drawing become uh, more specific I would like to add uh, center point so in this one I divide by two same perspective from here and then on top here so I want to make it like center and then from here go down this one just only the guidance okay not necessarily for you to do but it's good to have so then this one also I will divide into two in case so make sure all perspective follow and then from here to here in other things I divide and then from here also then I put another okay so meaning now I have the body okay so you can make it rough by using your 0.5 or 0.3 okay now you can see some uh, the camera right basically it has uh, different different parts okay for like like the example you have the area to put your hand grip area right so this is what we call grip and then the groove here basically it made from the plastic uh, it made from the rubber rubberized so to hold the camera and then you have the lens area okay doesn't matter how big your lens but the lens basically came from the what we call cylinder okay the cylinder shapes and then you have the on this top part okay what we call path path uh, if i'm saying the viewer okay from here you can see there's a viewer all right and then there's an area to intact with your flash okay this is the area slightly higher a bit into the triangle shape and then you have all those buttons here doesn't matter whether the buttons to operate from the all the modes to be on your left so here to be on your right here from this image 
So this is the area for the button and then this is some other areas for the indicators or whatever notes. And then here you have the groove and then you have slightly go in. Okay, and then you have this one, if I'm not mistaken, to put the strap. Okay, that's basically the part. So now you basically having the, what we call the body. So now you need to create part by part. So now I'm going to create this one first. Okay, this is what I call the upper part, triangle. So I already divide this one into half. And then probably start from here and from here. Okay, then I try to build. First vanishing point. And then, uh, okay, make it higher a bit like this. So until here, then I close this part. And then from here, I go to the point. And then I close this. Then I have this, I already have this line, then this is the body, then I just slightly move that up to here, then another, you close here, then you close this section. So now you already have a very basics on the upper part, the triangle. So it's not going to be the same like this one, but the fundamental is the same, okay? That's how you const construct the camera. So now, it's already there. Then, uh, when you move here, then what will happen, you have some grips there. So probably, I'm going to make it narrow down a bit. Okay, then I use this perspective. And then adjust this one slightly bigger because of the grip. Alright. Here, here. And then go down here. And then make it slightly bigger here. Thing should be okay, okay. Okay, right then. This is the body, and then this is some here. Right now, I'm going to add what? Okay, uh, the operational button here. So the button here, I extend this part. Perspective from there. Extend this. Close there. I build the basic shape first before I start to transfer into uh, buttons, kind of uh, oval shapes, whatever not, right? So then I close this part, close this, close this, and then it's already on here, then this is on this body here. And then this part also, I make it round shape slightly. Okay, and then I will have another uh, button here. Then I extend this. Same perspective point. And then 
looking for here. this one then draw here until here okay. this one perspective so basically you have this buttons okay probably you divide by two so I divide by two then you go down Okay, so later I will make it. Alright, okay, then what else? Okay, uh, probably I want to add here, there is one flash. Okay, even this camera not the same. Okay, but slightly you can understand on this demo on how to draw this SLR camera. And then slightly you can see inside and then use another line also came from perspective here and then I cross this so now it looks like the thing slightly go inside a bit okay all right then you have the uh, area for the flash attachment Hmm. start from here to here to here and then uh, be careful uh, you getting uh, become uh, so many what we call uh, line ok so careful on that so this one to be here some of this line can be reused Okay, no need to redraw, but sometimes it goes very complicated. Okay, so it go down, and this one also go here. So now you can see. Okay, it's getting smaller in detail this area but never mind later we 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 add another lines works okay now we move into the length so here we can see slightly uh, the body extend then you can have this extension and then it goes down go down straight line parallel line Then you can have perspective here. Ah, okay, now you can see you can get some what we call body. This one to be attached with. Okay, and then here also straight line. Then slightly comes out from the main body. Right. Okay. And then this is the body. And then you want to add same like just now. Okay. If you need to draw the whole line, then you draw the whole line. If not, then you can adjust. As long you think the point perspective is correct, taken from the right vanishing point don't simply change into the other vanishing point okay uh, that is a problem so you can use your imagination no worry but make sure your vanishing point came from the same direction and slightly the thickness okay now at the uh, lens so probably I will extend another body part here 
and see this one is one is here probably one is here and then it goes down straight line parallel don't forget then this is over there then take from first finishing point then you extend okay about to be there all right then how big Close this part. And from here, go down. Go down. And then here we have so close. Here we have so close. Okay. So basically, there is a basic shape before we transfer into. Uh, cylinder okay so if you make it much more extension so meaning your your lens is much more bigger okay so to be secure then you put this x inside here okay and then i might divide this to become two parts okay just in case okay so about to be there all right so and then if you want to add the groove then start lah. so this is make sure it came from same perspective uh sorry the vanishing point so if you want to make the groove then you can make the groove if you want to all right then yeah. Okay. Okay. Later we adjust. Okay. Even here. Two. One. Okay, so now we try to transform into these buttons. Okay, change into what we call ellipse shapes. Okay, within the area, then you can have some modification if you want to. Then it's already end here, it's already end here. Then you can have this. Okay. Then you have one more. Okay. Probably there's another. Okay. Then one more here. Right, then if you want to add something here, then you can add, add this one, you try to add something, like a groove, okay, like a slightly uh, a groove inside, okay, so then try to come up with this lens, ellipse form, okay, ending here ending here so meaning you need to have and this one also this one here okay then want to make 
it like double lengths so meaning there's another elip inside here and this one and then it goes down and this is one okay then you have another So now it's just on the end here. I add another to fulfill the space. I create one of oh no, it could be a sensor here for a lens. Okay, and then. Okay, then if you want to add some, but make sure basically all the line is actually came from the basic vanishing point. Okay, alright, so I don't want to draw from here because later it becomes so many lines, I just only start to put the line from here, this area only. Okay, then the body, then you can have another uh, another emblem here. Okay, basically this is how you draw your SL camera. Okay, so when you have the complete product. Then you can have some detailing. Now this detailing is 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 up to you. Okay, so you can have this detailing. Okay, into what you you would like to add on. Okay, as long you show your perspective came from particular vanishing point from first point and the second point. Okay. So basically, it looks like almost, but you can add further. Now I just go straight to trim the line in order to make this SLR camera can be more visible. Okay. So same like the demo, the first before. I'm using uh, 1.0 ball pen thickness. I trace back all the line. Okay. small buttons then then it goes into frame of this okay and then the bracket for the lens here go down Stop here. Okay. And then this is the. Okay. So if you want to add the, the there is a sensor here, then you add. Okay. 
so the roof right then the body Then you have the main body, the, the grips. So I make it slightly curved. Okay, when you do a detailing, then you can make it something is additional. Okay. If you want to show the groove, okay, then you can add some groove. Okay, just slightly at this corner. Okay, so here is empty. You can add another. If you think you want to add another to enhance this SLR camera by putting some elements. Okay, it's up to you as well. Okay, so probably you already have this line and just get this line straight. Get this line straight. Okay, this is the area of what? Uh, battery. Battery uh, charger, charger port. Okay. Then go back into here the body and then this one the lens Trim the line. If you cannot make it precise, it's okay because you try to practice only the perspective drawing. Okay, we are not producing a very technical kind of uh, SLR camera in full detailing. So you can practice as long your perspective is uh, follow the vanishing point by one point or two uh, uh, two point or three point perspective then should be okay okay because all came from vanishing point if you're using ruler then use your ruler if you don't want to use your ruler like me like this one free hand then you can have a free hand okay you want to make it detail, you want to add some hatching, okay? It, 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 it depends on you. Like me, I not really prefer, I'm do, I don't really like put hatching, but if you want to put hatching, then you can have it, no problem. Okay? So... Okay? 
okay so it's almost there okay you can have further detailings on your on your camera if you want to okay not to say you can only just based on the photo you can you can as a minimum based on the photo but you can have more than that if you want to okay so basically this is what you need to do for your basic perspective too okay which is we at the end of the exercise for the perspective drawing before we continue for the next week within the marker okay so basically uh use whether this one or this one for you to come up with your reverse drawing which is you can see there's a two different uh, approach here. One shows all the construction line by using one particular pen, 0 0.5 or 0 0.3. And then there's another construction line into the second vanishing point also using 0 0.3 or 0 0.5. Then you develop the line to make it the line much more uh, solid, thick. Okay then you can see your object much further so all the other detailing if you want to add on about the groove one by part it depends on you for me you already show like this one i think it's a good enough really because you understand on how you see object without having any drawing concern but now you transfer into the object by the drawing okay so if you look into this one also it's a, actually it's the same just just only this product we construct doesn't uh, not even based into any identify object it's just only random based on creativity unless for this exercise also you actually doing it for by purpose to show something to become okay so from here also is the same so if you look into this into look into this this is the process okay construction line get the form to be combined each one to another then you start to develop to put some details and even this is not detail yet but you can enhance first further detail so in your exercise you will have this one this is what i call it as a reverse drawing okay reverse drawing every each of you need to produce only one particular DSLR camera whether you want to choose this one or you want to choose this one okay choose one only and then you have another one this is what I call it combination basic combination shape or object okay all right so these two so meaning for this week these are the only two okay this is the only two for this week you can see here okay you can see right so this is the only two one is the river drawing which is the dedicated for this slr camera and then another one the first round which is the basic combination shape okay to become any unidentified object which is the size of this drawing must be uh must be fit into almost two thirds from the paper size and this one not to say too small not to say too big i'm not saying need to have two third size this one is equal fit into your size at very nice convenient that you work it doesn't matter it doesn't need two third of the size but this one you need to have two third from the size okay all right so i think that's it for the today these two uh, exercise that everybody need to complete and to be submit soon all right so i will post another video very short video to wrap up on your exercise that you're having so far towards into the submission okay so i think uh, that's it for this demo then i will go for the last video third demo uh, not not a demo but just only to wrap up about your situation okay regarding on the perspective exercise okay i will see you next video